How's it going everyone? We have another PlayStation Plus update for you guys for the month of February. A lot of stuff rolling out. A bunch of new trials. We covered a couple new trials yesterday with the inclusion of Marvel's Midnight Suns as well as F1 Manager. Now we've got a major JRPG trial edition that I did talk about earlier today where I just stumbled upon it during the PlayStation Store sale that's running right now. So very good tie in. I think this is what you should do if you are dropping a trial well after a game's release. How about, how about, how about have that game on sale so people are going to be more incentivized to pick it up? That's just my two cents. We'll talk about that. As noted on Push Square, looks like some people are getting uh, PlayStation Store discount codes being sent to them, so you'll want to take advantage of that if you do get one. And unfortunately, one of the major games of early 2023 has been delayed. A very slight delay, but it is a game that I am incredibly excited for, so a little bit of a bummer for me, but uh, we'll play it here sooner rather than later. But we'll get to that in a little bit. First of all, PlayStation Plus Premium, a brand new trial, Persona 5 Royal, Thank the high heavens that they did not decide to go with a one-hour trial. Could you imagine a one-hour trial for P5R? They decided to give you a four-hour trial, which, you know, for a game like Persona 5 Royal, couldn't we have pushed it to five? Like Cyberpunk 2077, Horizon Forbidden West, they all got five-hour trials. I feel like Persona 5 Royal, you could go with a five-hour trial. Nevertheless, four hours. It's going to give you a decent experience with the game. It'll kind of give you, you know, the opening uh, portions of the game a little bit more than that. And uh, obviously, this is heralded as one of the greatest, I don't even have to say JRPGs of all time, really one of the greatest video games of all time. This is just like one of those games that has kind of broken through just the that JRPG zeitgeist, which is kind of surprising because Persona for a long time was not that. I mean, there was a time where Persona games, uh, you know, we had a little bit of a lag for them to come to the States and Persona 3 and Persona 4, yes, they were received really well critically, but I feel like with Persona 5, it really did take the franchise to the next level. And now I'm not going to say it's like on par with the big Final Fantasy titles, but I would say it's like right on, uh, right near that level or maybe a little bit below but nevertheless it's a great game it is on sale right now but you guys may know that persona 5 royal when the playstation 5 version came, uh, came out they decided to jack up the price uh of even the ps4 version of persona 5 royal so it's 42 dollars uh for the ps5 version or the ps4 version which is the ultimate edition you can make the argument that it comes with all the dlc but bear in mind before the ps5 version came out persona 5 royal on ps4 the ultimate edition with that like cosmetic dlc would go on sale for like 21 dollars so yeah, I see you, Atlas. I see the shenanigans you be pulling. I mean, Cyber uh, CD Projekt Red kind of did the same thing with The Witcher 3. But uh, at least with The Witcher 3, it was like a sizable upgrade to the game. I mean, with Persona 5 Royal, how much are you upgrading it from the PS4 version that already ran pretty darn well? But, you know, take that for what you will. I think Persona 5 is one of those games that people are going to let something like that slide with just because how highly received this game is. And generally speaking, everybody loves this game. Great soundtrack. A solid turn-based battle system that is, yes, a bit of a throwback, but at the same time works well. Not every game has to be an action JRPG, and obviously, tremendous story, great cast of characters, and Persona does a really good job of being this, you know, insanely long game, 150 hours that you can spend with it, but at the same time, having a diversified content set where you are uh, exploring this varied level of content that does keep the game engaging. For me, you know, these JRPGs that are super, super lengthy, a lot of the times it's like I'll play them in blocks where I'll play them for 30 hours, maybe drop them for a little while, then play them for another 30 hours, drop them for a little while. And, um, you know, I know not everybody likes to do that. Like everybody likes to play games straight through, but that's something I've been doing more recently. That's something I didn't like to do in the past, but these days that is what I like to do with a lot of these super, super lengthy games unless, you know, I have to play it for um, something that is like really engaging to me. But uh, more often than not, that's kind of been the tack that I go with, especially when we're talking about, you know, tackling games in the backlog. But um, yeah, that's going to vary from person to person. If you do have a plus premium subscription, hey, you're getting a P5R trial. If you're not a big JRPG guy, give it a shot. Like this is one of those games that's received at such a high level that I feel like, because it's so uh, elite in like literally every area even uh, like technically speaking like it's not a technical masterclass but the visual style is great so uh yeah check out the four hour trial available on plus premium right now all right moving on from that 
the PlayStation Store is hosting a bunch of new sales right now. And on top of that, Push Square has noted that Sony is sending out discount codes to select PSN members, offering a 10% discount on any transaction through most of February. Not everyone on the Push Square team specifically has received one of these, but it's worth keeping an eye on your inbox to see if you have been selected. Now, they do do uh, do know one thing. While you'll need to purchase through the PS app, this seems designed to get you into the rhythm of using a Sony smart uh, phone software. So, you know, that's something typical that a lot of... Uh, a lot of companies will do. I mean, like, yo, like, for a while, they were doing those Mc, uh, McDonald's, get, like, six, um, the six free nuggies if you do use the app or whatever, if, like, Wendy's get whatever nonsense that they uh, offer. Uh, I think Subway recently was like, yo, you'll get a code for, like, buy two, get one free on footlongs, but, like, we all remember the days where it was $5 a footlong. Those days are long gone, but, uh, yeah, 10% off on the PlayStation Store discount code. You can look through the PlayStation app, uh, you can go through the PlayStation app, and obviously the games will redeem the exact same way and they'll be available on your account. Lastly, I do want to note, this is so disappointing to me just because of how excited I am for this game, but Star Wars Jedi Survivor has unfortunately been delayed until April the 28th, no longer due out on March the 17th. Super, super, you know... Not a lengthy delay at all. Let's be real here. A six-week delay, that's nothing. Day, day before, uh, that doesn't exist. Just got an eight-month delay just a little while before release. Like, it's not that big of a delay. And guess what? March is loaded with new releases. We got Resident Evil 4 Remake that month as well. So it's not like a big deal that it's moving on over to April, which at this point doesn't seem crazy stacked with games. And the full message from Respawn for the six-week delay does know for the last three years, the Jedi team here at Respawn has poured its collective heart and soul into Star Wars Jedi Survivor. And we are proud to say the next chapter in the tale of Cal Kestis is content complete. We are now focused entirely on the final stage bug fixes to enhance performance, stability, polish, and most importantly, the player experience. Jedi Survivor is a direct response to the feedback from our community, delivering expansive destinations to explore, evolve combat and traversal, and of course, the continuation of Cal and BD's story. Making this game uh, has truly made us a better team, and we have pushed ourselves at every level to make this Star Wars sequel our fans expect from Respawn and Lucasfilm Games. In order for the team to hit the Respawn quality bar, provide the team the time they need, and achieve the level of polish the fans deserve, we have added six crucial weeks to our release schedule, Star Wars Jedi Survivor will now launch globally on April the 28th thanks to EA and Respawn for giving us the time to deliver the best experience for our players and to all of you for understanding. May the Force be with you uh, from the Jedi team. So, not a big deal. Like, let's be real. A six-week delay in this landscape is nothing. And, um... I've always said, don't get overly excited for games these days because a delay can happen just like that. Be excited for games in a collective sense where you look at a slate and you're like, man, there's a lot of great games coming out because there's no way every single one of them are going to get delayed. But if you pinpoint one game that you're super excited for, you just don't know how development is going and you don't know how that game is going to come out. And I really tried to stay away from that. Look, I'm I'm guilty of doing that as well. Final Fantasy 16, bro, you, you think I don't have that June release when uh, that June release date circled on my calendar? You you don't think I'm counting down the days until then? Of course I am, but generally speaking, not a great idea to do that. You just don't know what uh, is going on in development as far as things getting delayed, etc., etc. And even then, you know, getting overly excited for a game uh, sometimes does backfire a little bit when you look at games like uh, Cyberpunk or something like that, which is a game that I do often de defend. But nevertheless, Jedi Fallen, o uh, Jedi Fallen Order, oh my god, go play Jedi Fallen Order if you haven't, it's a great game. Jedi Survivor, six-week delay, coming April 28th for you guys now. So that's going to do it for me. Again, Persona 5 Royal has a four-hour trial available on PS Plus Premium. 10% off PlayStation Store discount codes being rolled out if you make a purchase through the PlayStation app. Hopefully some of you guys get it. And Jedi Survivor sees a slight delay until April 28th. That's going to do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.